I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin uh, color. So today's video is all about serums and treatments available on Ulta. So I basically looked at their best sellers um, and decided to review them specifically for skin of color. Now with my criteria, uh, I start off by making sure the product is NAFE safe. That means no denatured alcohol, which can dry the skin, no fragrance because it's a number one cause of contact dermatitis leading to hyperpigmentation for skin of color and no essential oils because it's a skin sensitizer. Now with skin of color, we have to be more careful than Caucasian skin because our melanocytes are larger and they are easier to trigger. As you already know, one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. This does not happen to Caucasian skin. And unfortunately, the vast majority of skincare was designed for Caucasian skin without thinking about skin of color and actually what our requirements are. Our requirements are that the, the product has to be safe for our skin and not lead to any form of inflammation. Number two, we require ingredients to be in the therapeutic index. This means that the ingredients have to be at percentage that they're going to work, not just for marketing. Um, and number three, I always do a cost benefit analysis on every product because a product could be a great product, but if it's costing you 10,000 pounds, then it's not worth it. So, you know, it's important to be able to assess the efficacy of the product versus the cost of the product and whether it's worth your money. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is purely a video library for our whole global skin of color family so that you know what's worth your money and what's not worth your money. Uh, if you haven't already joined our private Facebook group called Dr. V Sock Family, please do because it's a great community, a safe space to talk about your skincare. But don't forget, I am also in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can ask me your questions. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I've got two accounts, Dr. Manita Rattan and Skincare by Dr. V. Um, I've also created a little gift for you, which is a free e-guide to Skin of Color. It's a brand new one. I've just written it. So the link is down below. So if you download the old one, make sure you download the new one now. Right, so time to do a deep dive investigation into the serums and treatments on Ulta. That sounds good to you. Let's dive right in. Okay, so moving on to the first product, which is $52 and is Lancome's Genifique Anti-Aging Serum. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a very exotic name. Uh, the second ingredient here is Bifida Ferment Lysate, um, which I love actually. It strengthens the microbiome of the skin. It's not something you tend to find actually in cosmetics. Um, it's not a common um, ingredient, but it's great for sensitive skin. It helps it to repair itself. Um, it also reduces harmful micro, uh, microorganisms on the skin, which is what leads to redness and inflammation and sensitivity of the skin. Um, ideally, I would want this in an airless opaque pump, which this isn't because you want to protect it from oxygen and light um, uh, because it's basically uh, an unstable ingredient. Um, so, I mean, until that point, I actually love the formula. But then the fourth ingredient here is denatured alcohol, which can dry the skin. The way denatured alcohol works is it's a short chain molecule, which is volatile. It evaporates quickly from the skin. And when that happens, it drags water out your skin with it. And so your skin becomes drier. And as the fourth ingredient on the inky list, the ingredients list in descending order, fourth ingredient is really high. So I don't like that. Um, in addition, the vitamin C that they use is at a fraction of a percent, so unlikely to be in the therapeutic index. Plus, they use limonene, citronellol, and fragrance. So these are all fragrances that basically are the number one cause of contact dermatitis. Now, the reason, if you don't know by now, <laughs> the reason I hate uh, fragrance is, well, I don't hate, I mean, I, I strongly dislike fragrance is because... You can be fine for years actually uh, using it and then suddenly your skin becomes sensitive to a product that you've been using for a long time and you don't even suspect that particular product. But the fragrance um, intolerance can build up. On top of that, it's a co-sensitizer, so it can sensitize you to other ingredients in the product which previously you were fine with. So it's just it's just not something I would want for our skin and color family because for us, it's not just the redness and the inflammation, it's the pigmentation afterwards. So please just avoid anything with fragrance in it. It's just not worth your money. And unfortunately, the, the expensive products all are loaded with fragrance. Um, it's part of the whole luxury experience, but 
I think I think consumers are become cottoning onto it not being the best ingredient and it really being more of a marketing trick. Okay, so moving on to the next product, which is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, $71. Um, so it's actually quite expensive. It's interesting, however, that the second ingredient here too is bifida ferment lysate. So I wonder who copied who? Who do you think copied who? <laughs> I don't want to start any uh, politics, but... Um, yeah, one definitely copied the other because it's not a common ingredient. In addition, they have added Adenzonia seed oil from the baobab tree in Africa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I haven't. Um, I love it because of the vitamins in it. It's vitamin A, E, D3. It's also got fatty acids in it, which is very nourishing to the skin. Um, so this particular ingredient is excellent. In addition, they added tripeptides, which helps to stimulate collagen. I love peptides in creams, especially when it's been stabilized in an airless pump. Um, they did add a hydrolyzed algae, uh, olive 3 and olive 5, which are all comedogenic. So I probably wouldn't uh, recommend this product if you have oily acne prone skin. Um, it is NAFE safe, however, so it uh, doesn't contain any denatured alcohol, no fragrance and no essential oils. So I would actually recommend this particular product. However, it's probably not worth the price tag. So it passes on two out of my three criteria when you do the cost benefit analysis. It's very expensive for one cream uh, or one serum. But if you want to try it, I'm happy for you to try it. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored. And this is purely I'm looking at ingredients and um, translating them for you. Okay, so moving on to the next product, which is the Peter Roth um, cream. It's $55. Um, it is expensive, but I actually really like it. It's loaded with skin conditioner. So it's got... Cucumis extract, ananas extract, canca extract. These are uh, plus al alantone, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient. Um, I love this product for dry, irritated skin, and I would recommend you purchase this one. So this one is a thumbs up. And that just makes me really happy, actually, because often I do these um, videos and, you know, the top 10 products aren't great for skin of color. So, so far we are doing two out of three, so not bad. <laughs> Moving on to the next product, which is Glam Glow. I've seen a lot of this actually on Instagram. Have you guys seen this? It's usually the mud mask, or they, they're really into their masking and bright colors. So it's quite Instagrammable and quite memorable. So this one is a super mud charcoal mask. The second ingredient here is kaolin, which is great because it mops up oil. It's safe for the skin. Um, plus the fourth ingredient here is mandelic acid, which I love as well. So you get some exfoliation with it. This is why your skin looks brighter once you've used this mud mask. Uh, however, the sixth ingredient here is eucalyptus leaf, which is a skin sensitizer, plus they put in um, symphotum officinale extract, mentha fragrance, limonene and linalool. So they've got a ton of sensitizers and fragrances in this particular product. Now the mentha is basically giving you that tingling feeling. So you feel like something's working and it's a marketing trick, but it's a skin sensitizer. That's why they use, that's why you see it in Carmex, you see it in all these lip balms and that is literally the worst thing in your lip balm or for your face full skin of color so um and eucalyptus leaf does exactly the same thing so this is not something i'd recommend especially as a mask where you're leaving it on the skin for a long time it's not even a wash off product so this one is an avoid for me the next product i was quite surprised to see was different 0.1 percent uh adapalene so it's basically i love this product it's nafe safe no dna alcohol, no fragrance no essential oils it's great for acne and maskne so if you're getting maskne and now we're going back into more COVID. um this is a this is actually quite a good product to purchase. Uh, you do have to be 12 or over to buy it though, so um, just bear that in mind. And moving on to the next product is the Elizabeth Arden Retin Capsules. They're $107. They are very expensive. However, I love, love, love the way that they have protected it from light and oxygen, which is the single biggest mistake made in cosmetics. If you're buying an antioxidant serum or you know, some with vitamin A in it, which is an which is an antioxidant. If it's not in airless packaging, you don't know if it's effective or if it's been oxidized. It's likely that it has been oxidized and it's not worth your money. So you need to bear that in mind. So I love how they've done this. They've protected them in capsules. It's NAFE safe as well, which is brilliant. Um, the silicones are the first two ingredients, which is a category of ingredient that I love for our skin. It doesn't clog the pores. It hydrates the skin. It is an emollient, it's, it's, it actually helps product glide onto the skin. 
um, and they use ceramides and peptides. So this is a super expensive product, but actually I would try it myself and I would recommend it. To learn more about which products are safe specifically for skin of color, please do purchase your copy of Skin Revolution published by HarperCollins. The link for this is down below. You can buy it from Amazon. To shop my skincare routine, which is specifically for anti-aging and brightening for skin of color, you can purchase the daily range, the Dr. Mita Rattan daily range. The link for the shop is down below too. I'll see you in the comments section for one hour at the launch of this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Take care. Bye.